ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The Commonwealth Games continuing in the Gold Coast of Australia. Isaac Bastian in the pool for the 50-meter breaststroke. Today, he finished his preliminary heat fifth in 29.39. That was good enough to qualify for the semifinals, where he swam 29.28. That didn't get him into the final, but quite a performance nonetheless for the Carifta standout. My first time in a Games Village ever, so... It's definitely a different experience for me coming from, especially coming straight off of Carissa, so you can see like a huge contrast in like the level of the meat and the intensity of it, but it's been really good and to make semis, it's, I was really impressed that I actually made semis, I didn't expect myself to make it to semis, but so that was a pleasant surprise. Also in the pool today was Lily Higg. She finished 8th in her heat of the 100 breaststroke in 112.78 and did not move on. And in Fernanda, a no-show for the second day in a row for the man's wonder butterfly, but it has been confirmed that he is battling influenza. Track and field, that got started today. Running a season best time in the opening round of the women's 100 meters was Vialene Robinson. She placed 5th in her heat, 11.73. That advanced her to the semifinals where she clocked 12.09 and did not move on to the final. Warren Frazier, the first up for Team Bahamas in the men's 100. He ran out of heat one, lane eight, finished second in 10.37. That moved on to the next round where he turned in a 10.44 performance. That placed him eighth in the semifinal and he did not make the final there. Now finishing third in his opening round heat was Chavez Hart. He ran a time of 10.53 seconds and he did not advance. Michael Matthew, the lone competitor for the Bahamas in the men's 400 meters, he clocked 46.97 and he will run again tomorrow in the semifinals. Still talking track and field, Stephen Gardner ran a new national record in the men's 200 meters yesterday at the Hurricane Invitational in Miami. Gardner opted out of the Commonwealth Games and opened up his season with a half lap event in a time of 19.75, which broke the old record previously held by Stephen Gardner of 20.76 set in 2013. Liban Superman Sands also picking up a win in the triple jump. He saw at 16.12 meters. Henry Deleuze meantime finished fourth in the men's 400 in a time of 48.40. Back here at home, the Providence Basketball Association tipping off its best of seven championships last night at the AF Adelie Gym. Up first in Division 2, it was all about the Breezes High Flyers. They put away the Alive Buckets 85-73 to take a 1-0 series lead. As for Division 1, the Commonwealth Bank Giants still undefeated. They took Game 1 from the Rockets 93-83. Game 2 in both series set to be back on the floor again tomorrow night. The Cybots Basketball Club closing out its inaugural AAU Easter Tournament yesterday. In the 14-16 girls, it was all about Team Extreme. They won the championship over St. John's 30-23. Team Extreme also coming out on top in the 12 and under boys 35-30 over Telios. As for the 13-14 boys, that title going to Harbor Island 32-24 over Team Supreme. For Cybots Vice President Sean Bastian, this was a good chance to scout prospective players who may want to attend the University of the Bahamas in a few years. This is a, 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 a idea for me that I've think about for been thinking about for a little while is to establish a, a, a tournament, a, a program where we could continue to build for the future of the University of the Bahamas uh, basketball or even the sporting program there in our, our legs department but uh, uh, this has been something that are uh, well received among the young coaches here. As where the Cybots Basketball Club goes from here? We have two trips planned. We, we plan to go to the Heights. Um, you know, Moan McPhee is my high school coach. Um, for years we've been wanting to come but this year we we're going to make a trip to Grand Bahama to compete in the Hoyts AAU tournament there. And then in July 12, 13, 14, uh, we plan to travel to Orlando uh, where we'll be competing in the AAU tournament. The 2018 Bahamas Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation Nationals expected to be exciting. Kendall Smith and Malaya Petit, two of the athletes, getting ready. For me, the, the diet itself is a bit of a struggle. You know, I actually enjoy coming to the gym and you know, doing the physical um, aspect, like lifting weights and stuff. It's been a lot more difficult than I, than I thought, especially with uh, trying to have meal preparations every day 
and you have to put in at least four to five hours of work every day. The Evolve Fitness Center officially opened last night. Travano McPhee runs the swim program for Club Mako. We're a brand new club and we're renting a 25 meter pool here. Uh, we are here every day with a learn the swim program straight up to a master's program and, and uh, we welcome all to come and check us out. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas tonight comes back after the break.